Hey YouTube, Southwest 252 here with another video, and this time I'll be reviewing the Gemini Jets 1-400 scale Southwest Airlines Boeing 737-700 in the Louisiana 1 livery. Before I get into that, this video's shoutout is going to Benjamin Myers. Click the icon in the top right corner of the screen to check out Benjamin Myers and subscribe. Also, I would really appreciate it if you check out my Instagram, and the link is in the description. I'll start off the review with the box. So you do have the Gemini Jets logo in the top left corner. Made for collectors by collectors, there is the computer-generated image of this aircraft. The bottom left corner, uh, it does have the Airplane Shop exclusive written on it. This is an exclusive only to the Airplane Shop. That is the only place you can buy it. Uh, you could probably buy it on eBay at this point. Uh, but it's not sold with other retailers, uh, so that does mean it is a little more expensive as well. Uh, the bottom right corner, Boeing 737-700 Southwest. Then on the bottom, it does have the Gemini Jets logo, 1-400 scale die-cast model, highly collectible, superior quality, realistic metal landing gear, detailed printed graphics, and as well as it gets features. You do have on the left side the computer-generated image, 737-700 Gemini Jets logo, 1-400 scale die-cast model, and the item number, which is GJSWA1951. On the top, it does say adult collectible model. Warning contains small parts unsuitable for children under 14 years of age. And then the right side is the same as the left side. On the back of the box, you do have 2020 Gemini Jets release. I think this would count as a, a December release. Uh, it was up for pre-order for a couple months. Made in China. Uh, Gemini Jets logo, as real as it gets features, which you can pause and read. Don't forget to check out the Gemini Jets social media. Officially licensed Boeing and Southwest product, and then the airplane shop logo on the right and at the bottom. And now for the model. So at the front, you do have the nose cone painted on there. You do have the cockpit windows, the Louisiana One titles. You got your gear doors, 946 written on them. There's the nose gear. Uh, all the gears are rubber and do roll. There you have your L1 door with the heart logo right next to it. You've got the Pelican for the Louisiana flag there across the entire aircraft. You do have an antenna on top there. There is one at the bottom beneath the Pelican as well. You have your overwing exits and routes. Here is the engine on the outside. It does have three little baby Pelican chicks there in the nest. And then I believe on the inside as well, you can kind of just make that out. There's the inside view of the engines. And then of course your winglets. Then you move to the back uh, just for the Louisiana flag. It does say Union Justice Confidence. You do have a Wi-Fi box on top there. Then you've got the registration at the bottom, which again is November 946, Whiskey November. Then you have the American fl flag on the tail, and then the uh, special Southwest livery tail at the top. You move to the other side. It is identical, just with the cargo luggage doors there in the front above the antenna, and then in the back uh, to the bottom right of the registration. So here is the front view of this aircraft. Here's the right side. There's the back. There's the left side. Here's the top view. And then the bottom. So once again, you do have your nose cone up at the front. It does say 700 right by that as well. You've got your nose gear. Once again, all the gears are rubber and do roll. Here's a better look at that antenna on the bottom. Then you've got your main gear. Uh, now, unfortunately, this left one, uh, when I got it, it did come off right away. So I did have to use a little, little dab of super glue 
to put that in. Uh, I don't recommend doing that because if you get too much on the model, it won't come off. So I don't recommend that uh, only if you've experienced using super glue a lot, uh, but I don't recommend that. Uh, underneath the engines uh, is painted just like the nest uh, on the real aircraft for the birds. Underneath the wings, uh, stand hole in the middle, move towards the back, you have the Gemini Jets logo. Then you move to the very back, you've got the doors for the APU, and then the APU all the way in the back there. So that is pretty much it for this model. Uh, it is a nice model, however, there are some things with it that aren't perfect. Uh, like I said, my left landing gear, I think it was, uh, came out, so I had to super glue that in. And then this Wi-Fi box uh, is not properly placed. It does spin around a little bit. Uh, it didn't fall out, but it does spin. So that's not great. Uh, for an exclusive model, that is disappointing uh, since it did cost more. So uh, the fact that I had to glue in one of the landing gear and then also that the Wi-Fi box isn't stationary, uh, this model will be getting a score of 27 out of 30. But that's going to be it for this review. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button down below and consider subscribing for more videos just like this. And once again, I'd really appreciate it if you would check out my Instagram. The link is in the description. Thanks again for watching. Bye. Just a few minutes. We'd like to point out the safety features of this Boeing 737-800. To fasten your seatbelt, slide that flat metal end into the buckle. To release, lift up on the buckle. Position the belt low in.